Hello, and welcome to the Paul Cantavene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Men's Lacrosse Coach Paul Cantavene. Coach, uh, two conference wins last week. First, let's talk about you on the road Wednesday at Lebanon Valley. Um, kind of got off to a slow start, but you were able to recover and uh, eventually pull out that win. Yeah, you know, we went up there, a road game for us, and, you know, we didn't really I think we played particularly well. Uh, we, but we got better as the game went on. We had a big second half, you know, scoring them 6-1 uh, in the second half. They scored a couple seconds left. And, you know, we did what we had to do. You know, it wasn't a great effort overall, but we were able to bounce back on Saturday. And that's what happens. You go on the road. Teams can prepare. It's a little bit different. And, uh, you know, we were able to get things done. And, uh, you know, Justin played really well with a, with a perfect yeah. game going 19 for 19. So that really helped us at the faceoff circle. And, you know, we just got to get a little bit better being more excited on the road to play. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, you know, go on the road and, you know, you travel and get off the bus. And sometimes it's tough, yeah, it's always but, tough. You know, you get up there and you get locked from about the size of my closet and, you, you know, you have to do some things and move around. But, you know, our mental capacity has got to be a little bit better. We have to handle those situations because it's going to be that way anywhere we go. Yeah, absolutely, especially as you move towards postseason. Absolutely. And then um, Saturday you come home, you face Arcadia, and, um, you know, get out to a quick start and are able to um, – you know, put that. You know, they, and they're they're a much improved team. You know, they're better than they have been, but you're able to put them away early. Yeah, you know, they did a good job. You know, they got some better guys, and I think their coach is doing a real good job recruiting some better players. And you know, we're we're, we're pretty good at home. You know, we yeah. play well at home, so we think we did a real good job getting out early and putting some pressure on them. And I think we shot the ball really well and put a lot of pressure on their goalie and kind of broke them down. And we had a ton of possession time, so they got a little tired as the game went on. But they are much improved. They have some better offensive guys. They can score some goals. And but we also have to play better defense. We haven't really played great defense in about three or four games. So I still this still think we have to get much better at what we're doing that at that end of the field yeah and you touched on it a little bit but obviously Justin you know he's playing really well he had another big game Saturday night and um, you know over the last six or eight games like I think he's about 85 percent off faceoffs yeah he's lost like he's only lost like 18 faceoffs I think in conference or 19 in conference and that's really good you think he's like third second or third in the country right now and he has a chance to if he keeps doing well to lead the nation in facing off and that's a great thing about him you know he's just put so much into his craft he's gotten so much better he's one of the hardest workers out there always working at it and he really gives us a chance any night him and Sam, if you're strong up the middle, Sam keeps playing well in the goal, then you know you have a chance to win any night. Yeah, and then shifting gears to this week, uh, wrap up the regular season. You're at Hood on Tuesday, and then Friday night you've got senior night against Widener, which should be a pretty good game and what could determine the number one seed in the conference tournament. Yeah, and it probably will. You know, I think Hood's done. I mean, Hood's got much better, just like Arcadia has, yeah. and you know we have to go up there, and so we have to be ready for that challenge. And and then Widener's playing as better, as good as anyone in the conference now. They started out like one and eight, and now they've done a really good job getting back into this, playing a good brand, more up tempo. They're playing some zone, but they got a really good goalie, and they got a couple of good defensemen, and they you know they play their way. They can be a real danger. So they've always played well here, so we'll be ready for them on Friday night. All right. Well, best of luck this week, Coach, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Greg. All right. For Paul Cantabene, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabene Show.